um, it's been a while, hasn't it? It really has. Um, so I'm so sorry that I haven't posted anything um, for what? A couple of months now, I believe. Um, there's been a lot of things that I've been sorting out as well as a career change and this might give you a clue to the career that I've gone into um, but this week I'm off a half term so I thought I was going to put a week in outfits uh, together as well as like a vlog format because I'm meeting up with some of my best friends this week I think I'm meeting up with someone every single day so it's going to be a busy week there's going to be a lot of different outfits and I think the weather as we all know recently has been hit and miss this weekend it's been a hit, um, but for me it feels like it's a miss, only because I really don't like the sun, um, because when I go out I'm literally like a lobster. Yes, I know there's ways that I can combat that, for example I'm wearing some factor 30 and subsequently I have got, I'm like a lobster. That's my dad cutting the grass. Um, so I just thought I'd take you along with me and yes. Um, but at the end of the week, there's gonna be something really exciting. My friends are getting engaged and I'm allowed to say this because it's going to be posted afterwards. Um, so we're, getting a, we're, we're creating a sort of a get together for them in my friend's back garden. And yes, it is allowed because we're allowed 30 plus, no, we're allowed 30 people outside now. So those COVID police don't come at me. Thank you, thank you very much. Today I'm going to go and meet my best friend uh, Tate and we're gonna go for a coffee and yes, every friend is my best friend, right. <laughs> walk past a couple and they were like it's called Loxitan and I'm like oh bless they'll find out what Joe Malone is soon anyway so um I have anyway hello good morning um or whenever you're watching this um so I've just been to the hairdressers and I don't know if I told you all but a couple of days ago we went to a um like a festival which was outside and of course i didn't put any sun cream on and let's just say i'm feeling the effects of it now um and as he was like cutting my, my, my hair my scalp must must be really burned because i was literally going hoo, hoo. but does it also does anyone else wear all black when they go to the yes i know i know i know just don't does anyone else wear all black when they go to the hairdressers. Because I just think, if I go in all black, I can go home, take it off, have a shower, and then I'm sorted. But I had to put the extra length on today to cover up from the sun. But anyway, so today I am meeting up with my cousin. I'm meeting up with Dion. We're going to Birmingham, we're going to have some food, and we're also going to plan her birthday. So exciting times. So come along. Right, I'm just about to leave, and then I thought, oh my God, the whole point of me doing this week in outfits is by showing you outfits that I'm wearing. So here it goes. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. So I've got a oversized shirt on from Collusion. Uh, you can get this from ASOS. I think it's only about like 25 pound or something. People are probably thinking, well, why are you wearing a long sleeve in this heat? Well, because I burn. And I wore a white shirt yesterday and I put sun cream on and basically the white shirt is now ruined. Um, and it was my favourite cos white shirt. But anyway, so I've got this one on and hence the reason why I haven't done it up yet because um, sun cream is settling at the moment. Um, then I've got these cropped chino type trousers on. I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really go for a chino, especially a chino colour like this. I don't really go for it, but it was a part of a suit. Uh, which I bought from H&M. It's in a collaboration. Uh, there is a reel on my Instagram um, of how I style the suit. Uh, there's three different ways that I style it. So head over to my Instagram if you want to see that. And then I've got some navy socks on and uh, the New Balance. These New Balance are 515s. Uh, bought them from Bista a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, I just think it's a cool outfit. And then I'm pairing it with this Soho 
uh, home tote bag. So that is going to be the look. I've also got a video out of what's in my tote bag edition, so tune into that as well. If you want to, you're more than welcome to. I'm not telling you to, but you can if you want to. Right, so anyway, now I'm gonna go on the bus. Wish me luck. And this is what I like to see. My bus stop in the shade. Ugh, with a lot of bird shit. I've just been editing the vlog and I realised that I've started talking about a white shirt or I've mentioned a white shirt, got sun cream on there and it's gone all yellow and bleh. Um, I thought I wouldn't be able to pick this shirt up because I bought this shirt about a year and a half ago now. Um, and it's a nice shirt, I don't wear it all the time. I normally wear it on occasions because it's quite see-through and it's quite like light and you know being in the UK, we don't really tend to have a summer and we haven't been any, we haven't been able to go anywhere for like the past year. So, God, I needed more, I needed more air then. Um, but anyway, I've been able to pick the same one up and even better, it was in the sale. Um, but the only issue, is is that it's actually an extra large and the one that i got was a medium but it does fit because it's oversized anyway i just thought i'd get on i'd just tell you all about it because it's a vlog and you know it's about documenting what i'm wearing um i'm certainly not going to show you what i'm wearing now i mean this is like an urban outfitters top which i've had for like nearly about five years anyway i think i'm going to go out and enjoy the sun from the comfort of my own home inside take of that what you will just bought something very very exciting from the comfort of my own home um a couple of weeks ago i think it was about three weeks ago now um i went into this we, we went to Bista village um coffee we went into Bista village and i went into jill sanders now i've admired jill sanders for a very long time now uh, i went in the other week not to think did not think that they would have it and they had it. There's always that month which is just painfully draining where your wallet just feels like a river. The money is just trickling away. I mean, it feels like that anyway, but it, it purely felt like that the other month. And that was the month that I went to be out and I looked at the bag and I was thinking, oh God, I just want it, I need it. Um, and I spoke to the lady and she was really, really nice. And um, it was a massive saving as well. Anyway, I took her number and um, I messaged her out of the blue today because there was only one left of this bag. 
Um, I came in a couple of weeks ago, uh, was just wondering if you've still got that bag. And she was like, oh my God, yes we have. Thank you so much for messaging. I know that you was going to message, but I didn't think that you were. Um, yes, we've still got it. Would you like it? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yes, I will have it. Um, so yeah, I needed a bit of a pick me up and that was sort of a well done present to me. But I'm sure I'm gonna do a video on that certain bag. Uh, so please do stay tuned. So anyway, I'm getting quite hungry now. So I think we're gonna go out for an Indian. David. Oh, my God. 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 O